there is a new version of Ubuntu, which is now at version 21.04. The version number consists of the year and month it was released, so this is from April 2021. For this version, and the previous version, which was six months ago, the Ubuntu releases now include a version of the 64-bit desktop for the Raspberry Pi. I haven't upgraded my PC yet because of a bug that's resulted in a delay to the upgrades. The bug is mainly for older hardware. It shouldn't be a problem with my laptop as it's fairly modern and new installs should work okay. Uh, but the bug won't affect the Raspberry Pi version, which is what I'm looking at here. The new version of Ubuntu is easy to install and it's already included in the Raspberry Pi Imager software. Note however that the minimum SD card size has increased. I tried to install on an 8GB SD card but that failed, so I used a 32GB SD card instead. When you insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi, it takes a few minutes to install and set up Ubuntu, after which you're left at the desktop. I'm using a 2 gigabyte model of the Raspberry Pi 4 here, so it doesn't have too much memory, but it is enough to run as a desktop. I'm going to start HTOP, which is a utility for displaying the processors using the most resources. It does give a live view of the processor and memory usage, which is what I'll be using it for here. It's not installed by default, so the first step is to install it. Just using sudo apt install htop. <laughs> 
So this is HTOP running with just the operating system installed. I don't have VNC or anything running in the background. The computer is already using much of the available memory, although part of that is for performance caching. Okay, I'll try launching LibreOffice Writer, which is the word processor that's installed. That starts up really quickly. I'm starting to see some swap file usage on the two gigabyte Raspberry Pi. With the browser running and those tabs open, we're starting to see significant swap usage. But otherwise, performance is still very good. If you're using this as a desktop computer, I'd recommend you get the four gigabyte version of the Raspberry Pi 4, as the two gigabyte version of memory will get used up very quickly. So comparing with Raspberry Pi OS, it's an obvious comparison as that's the official distribution for the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi OS is a fast, lightweight distribution designed to work across the full range of Raspberry Pi. It's still usable on the original version 1 Raspberry Pi with say 512 megabytes of memory, although that still runs quite slow these days. On the other hand, Ubuntu includes the full GNOME desktop environment which uses much more resources. It's 64-bit and needs at least a Raspberry Pi 4 to work. The Raspberry Pi OS is a 32-bit operating system. However, that doesn't pose any real restrictions as far as I can tell. All the libraries and programs are compiled for 32-bit and work okay. You may think that the 32-bit operating system would hit a limit at four gigabytes of memory, but with PAE, physical address extension, included in the kernel, that's not a problem. There is a 64-bit version of the Raspberry Pi OS available, although it's not production ready. I suspect someday the Raspberry Pi OS will move to 64-bit, but that would mean supporting two different versions to maintain support for the Pi Zero and the older models with a 32-bit version. On the other hand, Ubuntu has now dropped 32-bit across its standard distribution. So this is a 64-bit version. This does not necessarily mean it can run any additional software or that it will necessarily run faster. There are some circumstances where it will, but that will need to be balanced against the extra resources used by the desktop environment. The Raspberry Pi OS includes additional software, including some licensed software. This includes Real VNC, Wolfram, Mathematica, and Minecraft Pi Edition. These are not available or would need additional licenses if you're trying to run these on Ubuntu. Ubuntu, on the other hand, only has software that can be freely distributed, so avoid some of the licensing issues there. It does have alternatives to some of the software included on the Raspberry Pi OS. So for example, you could use Tarek VNC or X11 VNC instead of Real VNC, which is what's used on the Raspberry Pi OS. Raspberry Pi OS is the official version, has excellent support for programming, including access to the GPIO ports. Ubuntu now does include support for the GPIO, and it is improving, but does not have the same level of support as the Raspberry Pi OS. Why would you use Ubuntu rather than Raspberry Pi OS? Firstly, I'd say Ubuntu does look good, 
and it works well as a desktop environment. So if you want a good modern looking desktop, then it is a good option for that. Another reason you may prefer Ubuntu is familiarity, especially if like me, you run Ubuntu on other computers as well. But otherwise, I'd stick with Raspberry Pi OS. It has better support for the program in the GPIO and works well with older models of the Raspberry Pi. I don't see any immediate benefits to using Ubuntu over Raspberry Pi OS at the moment, but that may change in future. Or do you think differently? If there is some functionality that's included in Ubuntu that doesn't work well in Raspberry Pi OS, then please let us know in the comments. Hope you found this video useful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you on a future video.